Hey everyone, it's Leo Young here, and this is the weekend review for November 24th to December 2nd, which is today. And I really hope you guys had a great last week and a great Thanksgiving week too, because it has been crap for me. Like all Thanksgiving, I couldn't really do any videos because I was not here. I was with some family, and la this entire week has just been a, a little bit like hectic for me. But I'm almost out of school, and hopefully, me and Connor can then start pulling up some more videos. All right, so other than that, let's just jump right into it. First off the bat, Chinese actor, and I'm very sorry if I butcher your name, Lu Yefei, also known as Crystal Lu, has been casted as the main actress in the upcoming live action film made by Disney, Mulan. The film is slated to release sometime in 2019. Now, while that's great, that's awesome, for some strange reason if you keep looking into it, apparently to China, Miss Crystal is one of their worst actors. She's also She has a lot of other things behind her belt. She's dating someone a famous uh korean actor or singer she's been an ambassador but it's like you can be all those things but still not be the greatest actor so i'm kind of curious as to why like they chose her one other thing though is if you don't like whitewashing this might be an answer to it because there have been so many other films that people claim have been whitewashing especially the upcoming hellboy movie where one of the actors was like i can't play this guy i'm not this person however in my opinion whitewashing while an issue it seems to be an issue that uh only americans really have like i, I i've asked a couple of chinese friends it's like did you like full not born here but like did you have issue with scarlett johansson playing ghost in the shell and they're like no if you look at major she doesn't really look asian that much she kind of like a bunch of these asian characters do hold like um characteristics of a neutral person like you can't really tell if she, like if you colored ang he would look like a pretty normal african-american or a normal african or a normal china so you understand what i'm trying to get to is like whitewashing really is more of a problem that we feel is there and um it's not just whitewashing but it kind of feel like we're a, a perfectionist society like even with marvel and dc movies and stuff like people are upset that uh, a recent incarnation of snart is gay even though that incarnation is just another carnation is not the actual character from the comics it's just another version but people seem to really get upset about changes and that's that's something like i don't want to say i don't want to be rude about it that's something you really need to grow out of but as for her acting skills again this movie comes out in 2019 so we at least have time to see if disney wants to keep her or change her or maybe she actually does fit the role perfectly which would make sense because if, if you remember the movie of milan milan is a is a chinese girl in ancient china during the time of Genghis Khan coming to attack, and one of her things was she had to act her way as being a man to fight in this war. Well, maybe that's kind of the idea. It's like, she's not very good at pretending to be a man. Or maybe, that's the thing, she's very, like, Ms. Liu is very good at pretending to be a man. So, who knows? Next story, though. Recently, there have been numbers of companies who have dropped advertisements with YouTube due to the whole YouTube Kid section thing. With YouTube Kid content not being 100% not being child friendly at all honestly some of these com companies are walmart little mars cadbury adidas you name it now as youtube tries to combat these channels in this content deleting thousands of videos and hundreds of channels both commenters and video makers there are some actual innocent channels that are being affected by this they are losing either advertisements or they're just being removed completely being mistaken for these channels even channels that aren't like related to children are kind of having a big like backlash but don't forget advertisements are leaving again this is going to affect all of youtube and really hit us and youtube is stepping up the game but i personally it seems to be a little bit too late now earlier this week i had reviewed every part of the uh cw crossover crisis on earth x that's right and this is the crossover between uh, Legends, Flash, Arrow, and Supergirl, in case you don't watch that stuff. And the entire idea is that um, Nazis come from another Earth. You know, the multiverse, Nazis come from another universe and come through and attack the main verse. Now, it was pretty, it was a pretty, um, what's the word I put? A pretty cr um, epic crossover visually. But it did leave a lot to be desired especially answers like there was stuff there was stuff like a uh, why is a why is ray from earth one but he's on like earth x and why did he go back and how did uh i i guess eobard thawne if you don't know who reverse flash is 
or you know, reverse flash Eobarthon, how did he get from Earth One after dying in a time travel incident and end up on another planet? Pretty all right. And they don't really answer this stuff. However, there was one thing they did answer, and um, it was a very sad scene. So the actor Victor Garber, who's known to play Martin Stein, one half of Firestorm, his character was killed off during the uh, the crossover, the third part to be exact. And the well, he died during the fourth, but he was mortally wounded in the third. And one of the things is his he was uh, scheduled, or he said that he wanted to leave months ago. But we were kind of trying to figure out how he would leave. And they kind of like pushed the idea that, oh, he's going to quit the Legends to be with his family. That's great. No, they're killing him. And really, that's kind of a... I don't want to say it's a cop but it's actually a pretty good move. It's like, as sad as that is, it's like, nobody has really died in a crossover. So it's time to give, like, give up on someone. It's time to lose someone. Like, if Avengers Infinity War happens and nobody dies... You kind of lose that 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 sense of urgency. Like protect each other as hard as you can. Like when Quicksilver died, that was kind of heart thro heart throbbing. So, other than that, though, is like I hope Victor Garber does well. He's been in a lot of other stuff from what I've seen. So of, of course, he's been in other stuff. He's an actor. He was in Titanic, which is kind of a joke. Not the movie, but like whatever. So. Last night, images of Dick Grayson wearing his Robin costume was dropped. And the actor Brenton uh, Thwaites, it's Thwaites, it's definitely Thwaites. Actor Brendan Thwaites was, uh, was cast as the former sidekick to the Cape Crusader. And I think this was back in, uh, in August. And he's going to be playing Nightwing in the live action TV show Titans, which comes out next year. Now... There have been other actors who have been cast, like Beast Boy and Raven and Starfire. That's great. But realize what I said. Images of Robin were released, not Nightwing. Which is kind of curious because it's like, why did they let him put on a, a, a Robin costume when he's not Robin? So what I'm thinking is, maybe we're going to actually see him leave Batman to become Nightwing. Now, if you don't know who Nightwing or Robin is, that whole story arc... Basically, Dick Grayson, Robin, got upset and tired of being Batman's psychic. So he leaves Gotham, and he leaves Batman behind. And a bunch of other stuff happens between Superman involved, and he becomes Nightwing. And that's the story of it. So I'm kind of curious if they're actually going to follow that story, too. If they're actually not just going to add Batman, but Superman. And finally, big news. On Monday, Marvel had released The Dogs of Mephisto. When they let out the Infinity War trailer. <sighs> my god. That trailer blew my fucking mind out. So. The Russo brothers were right. They were like. It's, it's, it's fine wine. You, you can't just release it when it's, when it's ready. It needs to be extra ready. And the one thing about this trailer is. It was so fucking ready. Like it broke a record. This trailer has become one of the most viewed trailers of all time. When I saw it. It was at 10 million views. I came back five hours later, 22 million views, and it's probably still growing. Don't forget there's more than a billion people on Earth. I think there's no way. Am I thinking about Earth or Earth's age? Oh, well. Now, one thing you do realize about this uh, trailer is it really does remove the whole campy side of things that Marvel normally shows with the movies once Thanos hits the floor. And it really gives you that idea that someone is going to die. But there's always going to be that negative feedback. You see... For some people, Thanos is a little too purple, which is kind of weird to me, because when I've seen him, he looks pretty nice to me. Like, each, in I think each incarnation of Thanos, he's been a different shade of purple, so they've been trying to figure it out. But it's like, if you look at Thanos, I I, I don't know what they're trying to get to. It's like, he, he looks perfect. I'm looking at an image of him right now holding the Infinity Gauntlet. He looks like he perfectly belongs in there. It's like, what did you expect? Like, a dark... Thanos is dark as hell in the comics. They just lightened him. It's like, what type of purple do you want him to be? Like, what are you expecting out of this? He's perfect. Like, I guess it mainly also adds up that his armor is dark and they wanted him to bounce off of his, not bounce, but you know, like contrast with his armor by giving him a lighter complexion. So, I, I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, there's a lot more stories that we weren't able to cover this week, such as Nintendo Switch and a bunch of other of the comic book industries. And I'm 
in the article, I'm not really going to explain it, but here I will. Like I said, Connor and I have school and a bunch of, we're coming up with the finals and we're hopefully going to be done next week so we can get more stories out for you. Um, we do hope you did have a good November, like I said, and we did hope you had like, if you didn't, if you don't do Thanksgiving, we hope you had a good, you know, whatever your family follows or your beliefs, we hope you did enjoy your time. We hope you did have a great one and we hope you have many more and we hope you have a good December too. Anyways, this is Impressive Graphics. If you guys want to see more, please hit that subscribe button over there. Get access to our notification gong. If you want to show support for the channel, like, comment, share with your friends and family. Once again, I'm Leo Young because I have a very forgettable face and a very forgettable name. And I will gladly see you in the next one. Stay impressive.